afternoon. Let's spend a little bit of time thinking about how we can approach the toe loop. Let's say we want to get a really good toe loop as opposed to what some would refer to as a toe axle. Uh, toe axle is taking off, turning on the toe and then jumping, whereas a toe loop takes off a nice back outside edge. Let's simulate, let's practice actually. Uh, okay, I, I'm gonna go everybody else's direction, not everybody else, but I'm gonna go the normal way. So toe loop takes off a back outside edge, right? So now I'm on a back outside edge. It's the landing position, right? I might as well practice my landing position. Okay, now if I practice my landing position, which is with the free leg behind or actually a little bit inside the curve, I'm going to accentuate that inside the curve thing. And I'm just going to practice a pivot. You can see that the free leg is both turned out and crossed well behind so that it's inside the curve. This is as though I were a a person doing a death spiral. The man doing the death spiral. Position, back outside pivot, right? You can do it on any pivot you want, but that's kind of a standard back outside death spiral pivot. Practice that position. All of you skaters, even if you're not a pair skater, this is good for your toe loop takeoff position. This pivot, because a pivot Toe loop takeoff position is really just a pivot with this leg straight. Okay, and your arms, you can decide what your arms are going to do too. On a pivot, you could do whatever you want with your arms. For a technical thing like a jump, you might want to have something more practical with your arms. But practice that. And that's going to be an instantaneous position, a position, a snapshot of your video. It's going to be a position that you just get into, uh, you don't hold at all. You just move through that position when you do a good toe loop or any jump. I don't think you want to hold, any, hold or wait in any position. I think you want to keep moving no matter what your entry into the jump is. Okay, now, so just to continue with that toe loop. I'm just going to practice my toe loop takeoff position. This is really helps me if I'm going to do nice toe loops is to get onto the a fairly deep edge with with a good knee bend on the left leg. Fairly deep edge with it and then the leg cross toe well inside the circle. This toe well inside the circle. Now I can decide what I want to do with my arms. But that's basically going to be my toe loop, uh, a very important toe loop takeoff position. And uh, so the next step might be to, because if we're on a deep enough edge and we have that toe, toe loop, toe pick where it is well inside the curve, rotation is going to be much easier. So all I need to do really is put that toe in. And when I put that toe in the ice, this leg, this leg stops momentarily as long as it's in the ice in one place, it's basically stopped, right? So the rest of the body keeps on going. This outside edge, it's going to keep on going. That's why we don't want to pick straight behind because it's going to keep on going and crash into the other leg. Or you know, That's why you, it's, well, that's one of the reasons why you want to have this picking leg well inside the curve, crossed well behind. You can practice this exercise and eventually get to the point where you add a little bit. Now if I just add speed and straighten the other leg, so now I'm going to add some speed and I'm going to straighten and use both legs now in this procedure and I'm going to jump and perform for you a very lovely mazurka jump. Mazurka jump. 
Mazurka is the name of a dance and how this jump got its name from the name of a dance we don't need to worry about and I don't, I'm sorry I can't uh, edify you on that subject but I'm going to do another mazurka. Notice that on a mazurka you, it's only half a rotation. You don't want to think about rotation at all. I'm not trying to turn at all. I'm just getting into position and trying to jump. Position, jump. Oh, it certainly would be better if I practiced a softer landing. Um, but the mazurka is, you, you notice on the mazurka that this, this left leg does glide past. And that's an important part of a toe loop or double or triple or quad toe loop is that this leg glides past, past, then you wind into your backspin. So when you're doing a single toe loop, you really don't need to get into a backspin. It would be a waste of effort getting in and then out of a backspin again. So if we're doing a toe loop, I would just practice the actual jump itself without the need to pull in it's only full rotation well it's in theory a full rotation but it's much less so but but you want to practice your like I, I have a, a three turn entry maybe some might say a little old-fashioned but this is my entry three turn three turn and to get on into that position right after the three turn, the position I showed you earlier, to get into that position right after the three turn and be, be able to hold it, even though I'm not gonna hold anything, when I'm actually doing the jump, to be able to hold it shows control. So here we go. Inside, outside. That's my takeoff position, something like that. <laughs> 